different health professionals. They jump from one professional to another and to another without really ever kind of correcting it long term. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think the third one is just expecting quality care to be given at like bargain prices. Like it's not, you know, we're not, it's not, a, it's not Wilco or anything like that. Like uh, there's nothing wrong with, with getting a bargain. But I think if you buy cheap, you're going to get cheap. You know, and as Warren Buffett likes to say, price is what you pay, value is what you get. And so that's a big one, um, in my opinion. Of course. What are your top tips for finding a great healthcare professional and why? Whether them be a GP, chiro, physio, osteo, massage therapist or acupuncturist? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I would say my top tips really boil down to sort of six or seven things. Mm -hmm. The first one is look, you need a strategy um, to successfully source whoever that person is you decide to see, whether it be a chiropractor or not. Um, it doesn't matter, mm -hmm. but the main thing is you've got to have a strategy. And the first one is look, do your research. Using Google is a great place to start. Uh, looking at the reviews. You know, the reviews do tell you a lot. Um, yes, you can get what you would call fake reviews in this world now but I mean if they've got loads and loads and loads of them like there's only so many of those fake ones you can do mm -hmm. um, and I think you can tell the difference when someone's actually meant what they've said versus just someone who's put a Chucked review for there. the sake of it and the other thing as well is that you know um, review those websites whether it's the GP's uh, practice, whether it's the physio, is it the Cairo? Look at the websites, look at potential testimonials on there, look at any videos, any stories of anyone similar to yourself that may have a similar problem to, the, to what you've been experiencing. And also look, check around for like resources on their site. Like a lot of the time, if they're trying, if they're coming from a place of service first, like they're gonna give you resources to try and help yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, you know, look for resources. A lot of the time, you know, um, you know, they'll they'll offer guides like fix your pain guides or like um, scorecards or books even, mm -hmm. um, or free workshops or free spinal health checks. They're all things that you can do to find out more before you actually decide whether or not chiropractic or whatever the thing is you want to do is right for you. Mm -hmm. um, and I think actually the third one, which I, I don't know why, but I feel like we're missing more in today's world is like, pick up the phone, mm -hmm. pick up the phone and talk, like get to know them, uh, get to know their team, get to know the people and just get an idea of like who they are, what their services are, uh, how they work, why they do what they do. And also like how their process works and whether you think it's right for you, you'll learn a lot from those calls. Mm -hmm. Um, I think price is a big one, you know, not choosing the cheapest. We mentioned it already, but if you, you get what you pay for um, a lot of the time. Location, you know, don't choose just the convenient location. Choose somewhere that actually gets a result with a proven track record. There's a reason, guys, why we go to the same dentist for years, mm -hmm. why we have the same hairdresser, why we go to the same restaurants. It's because you know it's because we've built relationships with those people we know like and trust mm -hmm. um, yeah I, I would say as well it's like it's exactly why we um, we would go and line up for a restaurant or some kind of launch for a product or a service we want to buy if we've got that relationship with the brand it's like the people that really are dedicated to Apple they <laughs> wait in line for hours just to go and see the to get the latest phone. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really what I mean by, it's not just about convenience, it's like what does it do for you in your life? And how, how impactful is that? Um, I think the third one is like get specific. Anyone claiming to do it all is just not a specialist. Like someone who, it's just someone who wants your business effectively. Like choosing someone who knows what they're good at and what they're not good at and actually tells you that mm -hmm. upfront, like, is important um, and then I think yeah as I mentioned have a chat you know um, 
kind of talked about that already. And then time as well. Look, time. It's vitally important whoever you do decide to work with. Values. You have similar values. They value your time. They value their time. Um, because, look, if, the, if, if, if someone's doing lots of long appointments, you know, it's going to lead to tiredness, being overworked. You know, it's health professionals that don't have capacity to actually care for you in the way you actually deserve.